Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here, it's been brought to my attention, somebody emailed me and said, hey, there's a Linux script that works with your interface board. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel or new to this video, the interface board that we're talking about, I uh, designed and built, is for the Redivis RT97S or the Midland MXR10 GMRS two-way radio repeaters. What this interface board does, it lets you hook up a computer, or in this case, a Raspberry Pi, to those repeaters so you can have functions uh, like repeater identification, uh, maybe you want announcements, uh, depending on what type of um, functions you're looking for, this interface board lets you do that, whether with a computer or with a Raspberry Pi. Now you're probably wondering, What's the difference between a Raspberry Pi and a computer? Well, one thing, obviously, that's different is a Raspberry Pi is not much bigger than my interface board. It's very small, okay? And when you're done setting it up, you don't need the keyboard and monitor hooked up to it anymore, okay? And that might be handy in a situation. I'll give you an example. Let's say you have a repeater, whether it's on a hillside, whether it's just a re you have a repeater set up somewhere, and it's on solar power. And you don't want to have a laptop up there. But you got to do the repeater identification uh, according to FCC. Uh, you need to have your repeater identify itself. So the best way to do that would be a Raspberry Pi and using this gentleman's script. Because, um, like I said, Raspberry Pi is very small, it doesn't take hardly any power. Uh, you can, you know, have it, you know, all of it in a small little box along with your battery and your solar uh, um, panel hooked up to your battery to run your repeater. So uh, let me kind of show you here. Uh, he's got a GitHub for the script. I will post that link in the description below. He also has got a YouTube video showing the script working. This script, as of right now, uh, making this video, can do announcements repeater identification and it can record all audio transmissions now that and that might be kind of handy there especially if you got a really busy repeater system and you want to um you know playback messages that were done earlier you'll be able to do that with this Linux script um now when you want to do an announcement and what i mean by an announcement is some people like to have the repeater announced like every hour this repeater is located in you know, this county. It's operating on this frequency. You know, some type of an announcement. You don't have to do that, but if you want to do that, you can either do it one of two ways. You can re record your voice and save it as a wave audio file, or if you don't want to use your voice, there is a free program which I can't think of the name of right now. It just slipped my mind. Um, but there's a free program. I'll I'll try to find the link and post it in, in the description below that you can convert whatever you're t uh, typing in into a audio file. It's a computer generated voice. I actually use it on my test repeater Zello channel. If you go to that, you'll hear it making announcements. Um, but you can do it that way uh, with your, now if you wanna do your repeater identification, you're gonna have to, uh, one way again is you can pre-record your voice saying your call sign or you can convert your call sign into Morse code. Now I do have a video on how to do that. It's real simple, free software. I'll try to find that link and post that in down below. Now this gentleman, uh, like I said, I, I, I'm hopefully he'll add more features to it. I've done Linux before. Um, it's been a long time. Uh, I'm very rusty at it. Maybe this winter when I have more time, uh, I will sit down and, and I got a whole bunch of videos I want to do, but I've just been really busy getting things ready around here for winter time. So that's why you haven't seen so many videos. But at any rate, he tells you here what he tested it with, um, what type of Linux, uh, Raspberry Pi. Um, he tells you how to install it. He tells you, even right here, replace the files in the sound directly with the WAV files you crafted for your repeater. And, the, and what he means by that is if you want an announcement and if you want your um, your repeater to ID itself, you're going to need your call sign uh, converted to Morse code if you choose it to do it that way. you got to replace those audio 
files with yours. And it tells you how to, the usage, the settings. Um, you can change it, like for an example, he's got the repeater announcements here to do every 60 seconds. And he has the um, repeater ID to uh, do every 15 minutes. This has got a built-in dual timer, which is really cool. You don't need to run two different programs. It's got a built-in dual timer capabilities. So, um, yeah, check this out. And, and, and maybe some of you subscribers out there are really good at Linux, man. And if you are, maybe give this guy a hand. I'm sure he wouldn't say no to it. I don't, I'm sure he wouldn't. Um, but if someone out there is really good with Linux and they can um, help this guy out, uh, add more features, get a hold of him. Uh, like I said, his code is on GitHub, so uh, you know, go ahead and, and, and get a hold of him. Uh, but I'll, I'll post all the links in the description below, link to my store where you can purchase an interface board if you're looking for one, uh, and all the other links that I've mentioned here in the video. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Uh, please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.